let us understand, understand once we decide internally, okay, uh, let us move from the traditional system to a new A system, how to kickstart the process? Because that is my topic is developing and maintaining, how to develop it. The first very step after taking an internal approvals from your top leadership team, constitute a compliance level committee, which should comprise the representative from the various core functions of the organization. The functions includes HR and admin, logistics, IT, direct access, indirect access, secretarial, legal, regulatory heads, international business. So you should identify which are your functional heads and they should come, come together and constitute a committee which will look after the implementation of this project. The next step is once you have constituted a committee, designate a secretary to the committee or a coordinator for the project. He is a very, very important person in this entire system when this, you are going to implement a system because he will act as a vital link between the company and the, your system vendor as well as oversee the implementation of the system. So he's a very important person. You have to very carefully select who is the person going to be the committee uh, secretary to the committee or the coordinator for the project. I will use the word interchangeably secretary or coordinator just, but he is, it is one and the same thing. The next important step which you have to take if you have a multiple offices or a multiple factories, designate a, each person at each location who will be interacting with the secretary or the coordinator of the budget because it is humanly impossible for the secretary or the coordinator to, multi, to interact with the various persons at each location. So you have, it is like a federal structure, one at the center, at the corporate level, one at the unit level. So designate a person who will coordinate on behalf of that unit. Now. Once you have done this exercise, you from the market make a study and try to invite two to three reputed vendors or maybe four, five, depending on uh, the mandate which you have got it for the demo of their product. So you will contact the vendors. Vendors will uh, fix a time with your compliance committee and fix a time for the demo of the product because that demonstration of the product is very important at this stage. Organize the demo. Once you have fixed the time, organize the demo with the committee members and try to involve your CEO, if not possible, at least CFO and whole time director operations, because they are very, very important person to take the decision which software to go for. Once you have taken the demo and you have got the feel, look and feel of the, uh, of the software, the software vendor, you have to take the next step to finalize the vendor. But before finalizing the vendor, you have to share the certain your general business and operation details, which, which is not confidential in nature, to the vendor so that the vendor can work upon what kind of quote he has to give and what kind of technical and commercial quotation you have, you have to receive it. So he will give a predefined Excel check, uh, checklist because every vendor has a predefined Excel template where you have to fill the data of your unit, how many workers you have, what kind of operations you are carrying on each, each location, in which state the state uh, offices are located or fact factories are located, because it will help the to vendor to work out the how much time is going to be involved in implementation of the project, as well as what are the commercial involved. Once you have shared the data and vendor has worked upon that, the, you will receive the bids or the commercial and the technical quotations from the vendors that if you if X vendor has to go for implementation of the project, what will be the commercial and what will be the technical? Technical here I mean, what are your IT infrastructure requirement you need to have to implement that software? Now, once you have received the bids, suppose you have received from the three or four, make a comparative analysis of your bids. Please keep in mind while making a comparative analysis, make sure whether the vendor has a regulatory expertise or the regulatory domain expert of the industry which you belong. Suppose you are in the aviation industry, whether the vendor has an aviation law expert in, or you are in a pharma industry, whether vendor has a pharma, because there may be two types of vendors. One vendor is he has a general law expert and one vendor is who has an expert vendor, expert law ex expert. Uh, on the laws of the industry of which you belong, because that will play a very, very important role in developing your checklist. 
as well as you should also look for who are the reputed clients of your vendors so that you can take a feedback from those clients. When I was going for an implementation in Jubilant, I shortlisted two to three vendors and I spoke and I take a reference from the vendors of their clients and I spoke on a one-to-one -one message and I, I, and I took the feedback and I am mentioned in my analysis because this feedback is going to be analyzed by your committee members because you have to present the evaluation. Once you have done the evaluation of the vendors, present the same to the committee, including the clients, the feedback, so that the committee members and your CEO and CFO is able to take a decision which vendor to be shortlisted. So this is your evaluation. Once you have shortlisted, say X vendor, execute the purchase order with the agreement or agreement with the vendor. And if possible, try to fix your payment terms on a milestone basis, like on the receive of the checklist, on the live of the, once you, the vendor will make a live one month or two months after the, the product has become live so that there are milestone payments. You are, both parties are in a win-win situation. I hope you understand this. Welcome to Complinity Technologies. Complinity is India's leading governance, risk and compliance software helping companies to manage their compliance, contracts, litigation, legal updates, inter-financial controls and more. Complinity is a one-stop shop for all GRC needs. With our proprietary 12 GRC modules and real-time legal updates on 2000 plus laws and 24,000 plus compliances. All in an integrated platform that is easy to use with automated alerts and risk management capabilities. Is why compliance managers, general counsels and chief financial officers choose Complinity every time. Join the most innovative and prestigious brands that use Complinity. Automating your compliance management, request a demo at complinity.com.